So, hello and welcome back, and in this part we will finally start programming, and I thought we would start with the x64 assembly language, and I will explain some concepts, basically. Um, so yeah, let's start, let's make a new directory for ASM, then we go to there, and let's write a short hello world. I thought I would take a little bit of a different approach. Um, most tutorials I've seen cover a lot of theory first, but I want to dive straight in and explain some theory afterwards and explain what we're doing. Uh, and we will, will really program a little bit. So let's start to write a hello world, I guess. So, and first of all, we always have sections um, in ASM where we have data for static data, then we do have BSS for variable data or uninitialized data, uninitialized at first that is, but we can change it. And then we of course have a section for text, and text means program code. So this is where our code goes. And here we want to define our entry point and tell basically the linker later on um, where our entry point is. And now we have to define that define that label. And from here on, we can write code then. And of course, um, you can write the semicolon for comments. And uh, the start um, entry point is basically the lowest level entry point we can write and uh, we don't need any bulk so this is where what we will do and first of all we want to define some data that we want to print out and we can give a name here in front and I will just name this text and then define bytes and then we can just put the bytes that we want to define um, in the usual quote notation, like this, for example, and then we want to define another byte. We can, we can, of course, uh, define any bytes we want here. But ten is for a new line character, so that's good to have there. And if you want, we can also make sure that zero terminated. Then we could do this and <coughs> I'm sorry then all we want to do here basically is to have syscalls so we want to have a write syscall and then afterwards uh, an exit syscall um, to the Linux kernel and for that how to do that we can open our browser because there is a really good website for that. Hello, did I mistype that right? And that's syscall.sh. And here we want to navigate to x64. And here we get a list of all syscalls. So bas basically we want to have the um, syscall with number 1. And that basically means we have to load 1 into R RAX before we um, execute the syscall instruction. And here we can see the arguments that we need. So um, our first argument is our file descriptor, which is an integer. And 1 is the standard out, so we just put 1 here. Then we will have a pointer to a constant char buffer. And that will be just um, the text that we have defined. 
or the address of the text we've defined. So we can, in assembly, we can just put the label here and that goes into RSI. So first argument RDI, then RSI and then RDX. And in RDX goes the, um, the count, so the size of our text that we want to print out. So let's do that real quick. And of course we can also look up exit real quick. I'm not sure, I think it was 60, right? Yeah, it was 60. And as we can see, we have to push this one, or 60 in decimal, into RAX, then this one into RDI. Yes, the error code should be zero then, in, because there's nothing that really can go wrong. So yeah, let's do that. And we can, of course, put some more meaningful comments here. Call write, and then call exit. One, so I will also have um, a description here so we know what we're doing. So we want to call the first um, write has ID one. Then we want to move into RDI of first argument, which is one to our file descriptor. SCD out equals one. And then we want to move into RSI the pointer to our text, which is just the label. <coughs> and pointer to our text like that. And then we can move RDX and then the count of this is 13, 14, 15. So we just want to print 14 and this one is just padding. So let's do that. 14. Size of our hello world string. And then we're basically ready to call this is call. Call the red syscall. And then after that, all we want to do is to call the exit syscall. So that is 60, not 50, it's 60. Exit has ID 60. And then move RDI zero for our arrow code and then we are also ready to call a syscall again and this is basically our hello world program that should already be it so let's see how that goes so now to assemble our um, asm file we can call nasm and then we specify our input file and the format, which is L64. And our output file would be hello world.o or an object file. And it looks like that has worked. And now we have to link it into a program. <coughs> And we can do that with the linker LD that will link it to an L file. And, oh, and that should already, maybe not, let's see. And now we should have our L file. And as you can see, we have now written our first Hello World program. And now I want to take a little bit um, of time to take a look at what we've actually created. So as we can see here and also here, this should be both in um, L64 executable or basically this is 
just an object file and what we've done with linking um, we have made it into an executable file so meaning uh, the linker has added some information that the um, operating system knows how to start our program we can also take a look at the size it should be a little bit bigger um, let's do LH as we can see here we only have a couple of bytes and here we have um, actually some kilobytes um, that means some information was added and we can take a further look into that because this will, should only contain inform the information that we've written um, basically translated so to say so to speak into machine code um, I think we need to yeah exactly as we can see we basically have um, the code we've written um, that's that's um, that's the wrong it's at and syntax so it's the other way around that we've written but as you can see um, it disassembled our code this is the contents of the file these are the actual bytes that are in the file and it has disassembled them and we can see the disassembly here on the right and it's basically a one-to-one -one mapping so for example we can see here these two bytes are the syscall instruction and so on and so forth so yeah that's basically it already we have outputted hello world now to the screen this was already our first program in assembly this wasn't um, too interesting yet but we will take a deeper look into things in the following videos um, and yeah see you next time